Chris, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers, Blowers, and Guns. How's everybody doing today? It is uh, Tuesday, all right? And um, I'm headed over to Field and Stream again. But I'm not rushing. And the reason why I'm not rushing is because I was around the neighborhood. I had to drop off my daughter at her friend's house and another friend to do a project or something. So that gave me a couple of hours in the neighborhood of Melville, Long Island, so that I'm near Field and Stream anyway. This Sunday, I was watching the Indy 500. So while the race was about to begin, like around noon or something, the guys from my uh, Instagram uh, group chat, we name it Ammo Searchers, right? And we have about five or six dudes that are my subscribers who wanted to join a group chat because we all search for ammo at the, this particular field and stream. It's the only field and stream on Long Island. It's located in Melville. So if you guys, uh, are from the Long Island area within that Melville Huntington area and you don't mind driving up there to go and check or you already do check feel free to join our group man follow me on Instagram at mowers blowers right and then I'll uh, and DM me your information and then uh, I'll add you to the group so now we've got like six seven or eight eyeballs that are always looking for ammo at field and stream once you do see ammo, or if you call and you find out that there is a new ammo shipment, you text all the dudes. We understand you can go first to get yours and then uh, text us, you know, because uh, <laughs> you want to make sure you get your share of the supply before everybody else, right? Um, I'm sure there's plenty to, to go around, you know. Uh, anyway, so while I was watching the Indy 500, they texted me and says, huge ammo dump at Field and Stream. You ready for this? For a while, they haven't had 9mm, but this time they actually had center fire uh, or Aguila. They had Aguila 9mm brass, and it was uh, $21.99. So they're raising their prices every few weeks, you know. Uh, about a month or so ago, uh, they had 9mm there. It was a uh, federal target 9mm, and the tip had this red. I don't know, it's almost like they dipped it in some kind of wax or something, you know? So I was able to get a bunch of those. At that time, it was a box of 50 cartridges, the Target Federal kind, 9mm, and it was only $17.99. That's a score. That's like 38, 39 cents, you know what I mean, uh, per round. So uh, I tried to get as much as I could. It sold out very quickly. And then about a month later, I want to say, uh, they had some uh, 9 millimeter also, but it was uh, $20 and, uh, or was it 1999? I think it was 1999. And I think it was Aguila. And so they haven't had 9 millimeter shells in a while, you know, rounds. But uh, the, the group told me on Sunday that they, they had a lot of 9 millimeter. What's more surprisingly is um, I've never actually seen uh, 223s over there and while people say that they have seen 223. They actually have 7.62 by 51 uh, this Saturday, uh, Sunday, as well as uh, some other stuff that I don't remember. I think they said 12 gauge or something like that. Uh, but I don't really need 12 gauge, but my buddy does. I think he did go and score some. But uh, I just bought a thousand rounds uh, online from a uh, tactical shit. And uh, if you know a code, you get free shipping. And so it was pretty cheap. It was $495 for a bucket of a thousand rounds of Balom, B L O M. And it's brass. Um, there's a long story behind that. When they shipped it to me, actually, there was no tax or shipping, so it was $4.95 period, right? So $4.95, that's $0.49 cents a round of 9mm, which is, you know, okay. Field and stream, it's between $0.38 and $0.43, cents, you know, with tax and all that. So, you know, I was I was willing to pay the $4.95 for it to be shipped directly to my house, you know. Uh, actually, uh, they shipped at FedEx, which I didn't know FedEx shipped ammo. I thought it was only UPS. But anyway, when I got my bucket, right, it was raining that day, and the FedEx guy left the the box on my porch and it got all wet and uh, apparently it had fallen over or something because the plastic bucket that the thousand rounds were in loosely it was it spilled all over the box and I I probably lost a, a maybe I don't know 50 to 100 rounds or something like that and plus the whole reason why I bought that thing was because I could use the bucket to carry you know what I mean so I emailed tactical shit and uh, let them know what happened hopefully they'll send me uh, like a hundred rounds to replace it 
or maybe an ammo can or something like that but uh, uh, anyway so I'm not really in a big need for nine millimeter I've got like 3,000 rounds now or actually 4,000 rounds and I have about 4,500 rounds of 22 so I don't I wasn't really in a need for it you know what I'm saying so I'm here at field and stream uh, but and I'm not here because of the uh, a notification I'm here just to video the uh, amount of ammo that's in there right now just run-of-the-mill day no alert or anything just to prove to you guys is the ammo shortage over or is it still a shortage well, I'm here on a regular day. No notification or nothing. Let's just see what we find, huh? So here we are, Field and Stream. It is a nice storefront, isn't it? I'm not even gonna walk fast. What do you think about that? So it's not very busy. I did see that one guy come by. He had four boxes. I don't know how he got four boxes. So we got some uh, Hornaday 25-06. $39.99. 20 rounds. Okay. Next we have some 25 odd six Hornaday SST 49.95. 20. Remington 260. 49.99. 20. 20 cartridges. 50 bucks. 7 millimeter Remington mag 139 grain 20 cartridges 54.99 I don't know what all that stuff is I'm just showing you guys 28 nozzler long range pro 57.99 for I don't even know how many there are here doesn't even tell you how many cartridges 300 Savage, this has been here for a long time, 50 bucks. We have got plenty, plenty of 22. 22, this is the stuff I've been getting. It's the 22 Long Rifle, super extra 40 grain, copper plated, high velocity solid point, 50 rounds, 499. And they've got plenty of it. Uh, it was more filled in here. Here we go. 7.62 by 51. This is Aguila, 150 grain. 7.62 by 51, full metal jacket, boat tail. This is $30. $29.99 for a box of 20 cartridges. That's... That's kind of expensive, isn't it? Next over here, we have rifle ammo. 6.8 Western, 165 grain, Winchester, 49.99. 20 rounds. I don't know anything about this stuff. I find that expensive. What would you guys say? Sierra. 204 Ruger, 38 grains, 20 centerfire rifle cartridges. Blitz King Varmint and Predator. This is $25. Okay. This I've actually not gotten before. I want to say I want to buy these today because I've never had it. This is Aguila 22 HP, super extra hollow point. 38 grains. So this is also 50 cartridges. It's the same price as the yellow ones over there. You know what I mean? But, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should try them. You know, they're new. So I don't feel like I want to try it. So you've got the uh, 12 gauge Federal Premium Heavyweight TSS. Five turkey shot shells. Five turkey shot. Look at this. $76.99. That's insanity, isn't it? Got the Aguila 410. Look at that. 410 bore competition. Seven and a half shot. Half load ounce. This is uh, 25 shot shells a box. And it's uh, $16.99. Uh, $15.99. So 
there's quite a lot of that 410. Here we have um, 20 gauge Aguila high velocity. Buckshot. 25 shotgun shells. 25 shells per box for $25. So that's a dollar a shell. I don't know if that's good or not. I don't think it is. Here we go. Got some uh, 45 auto. This is a uh, center fire. Self defense. Hollow point. 20 rounds. This is $24.99. 20 round boxes of 380. This is also from center fire. Self defense. 20 rounds. It's $22.99. Here we are. This is what I'm here for. I mean, I don't really need it, but at $21.99 a box, I will get it. This is uh, Aguila, 9mm Luger, 124 grain, full metal jacket, 50 cartridges. These boxes are hard to open. Especially with one hand, you know what I mean? There we go. Brass. This one over here, we have the 45 Aguila, $32.99. Aguila, 45 auto, 50 cartridges, 230 grain. It's $32.99. Here we have, um, Center fire, special duty self defense, 20 rounds, $22.99. This is a uh, 40 caliber Smith and Wesson 125 grain special duty hollow point. This is the same thing, I believe, also $22.99. 125 grain. Yep, this is exactly the same. I don't know why it's placed differently. So that's it. Not bad, huh? Now this is just, there's no alert. I just walked over here, just came here on my, because I was near the area. Um, I don't necessarily need any of it, <laughs> but I will go home with two boxes of nine and two boxes of that special, um, this stuff, I'm gonna try it. 22 Super Extra Hollow Point. So there we go. Wasn't very busy in there at all. And uh, I just casually dropped by, no alerts or anything. And uh, Field and Stream had ample ammo for anyone to buy at any time. So if you wanna say that there's a shortage, I honestly don't think that there's a shortage. You ready for this? I don't even really need this stuff. Anyway. So as you can see, I paid $4.99 each for the Aguila 22 Long Rifle Super Extra Hollow Point 38 grain. I'm used to getting the 38 grain in the 500 brick here. I mean, they didn't have it, so I gotta get something when I come, right? And it's only $5 for 50, so it's 10 cents a round, right? I'll pay 10 cents a round for bullets no matter what. This 9mm Luger was $21.99. Uh, this comes out to about with tax and stuff like 42 and a half cents uh, around which is still pretty good you know I used to pay a dollar around then 60 cents around then 50 something cents around uh, I just bought the thousand for 49 cents around I'll pay 43 cents around anytime even though I got plenty of it 43 cents around how do you not buy it you know so I bought it uh, I always used a coupon as you can see the total was $53.96, right, for these four boxes. And uh, with the $10 coupon, man, I mean, this probably takes it down to, you know, 40 cents a round, you know, if you want to count that. So no matter what, a good score, you know, I paid 50 bucks. I've got 200 rounds here of ammo that I <laughs> not necessarily need, but uh, I find that ammo is worth it because in the future, when shit hits the fan and there's zombies everywhere, right, 
and paper money is no longer worth anything other than paper, right? In a cyber attack, all the money that you've ever earned that's in the bank, accruing interest, if you will, gone, wiped out because the hackers have taken all your money, right? You have no money, but in the future, when shit hits the fan, ammunition is very, very important. Look at uh, The Walking Dead and all those zombie movies. Everybody's hard up for ammo. Hey, you got a bullet? Hey, you got any ammo? Nobody has any ammo. Well, guess who's gonna have ammo? Me, that's right, I'll have some ammo. Thanks a lot for joining me on today's episode. Another ammo episode. And honestly, I don't really think there's a shortage anymore. You could just go into a store and get it. At least the field and stream here in Melville, Long Island. See you guys next time on Mowers, Blowers, and Guns. As a YouTuber that deals with small engine equipment on a daily basis, I worry about the harmful effects of the 10% ethanol that's in your unleaded gas from your gas station. Here on the East Coast, as winter nears, I think about storing my summer lawn equipment for the winter. Ethanol absorbs moisture, and what it does is it could rust or corrode and clog up your jets in your carburetor. That's why I use Ethanol Safeguard with stabilizers from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. Before you store your machines, a little bit of Lucas goes a long way. When you're ready to use your machines again, Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.